All right, in this video we're going to start looking at examples of derivatives involving the natural log function. So kind of the two basic formulas you need to remember. It says the derivative of ln of a function f of x. It says when we take the derivative of that, we just get 1 over f of x times f prime of x. And then if we have log base a of f of x, we get 1 over f of x. We also have to do f prime of x. But kind of the new thing is we get the natural logarithm of this base a in the denominator. And again, you also get it in the uh, first formula, but we would have a natural logarithm of the base, which would be e, and again, the natural logarithm of e is just equal to 1. So just a few different derivative problems here. Okay, so part a, we have y equals ln of x plus 2 to the x plus sine x. So this is just kind of straightforward, uh, just knowing the formulas. No product rule, no chain rule, no quotient rule going on in this example. So the derivative of ln of x is just 1 over x. And Well, OK, I said that. But if you want to think about the chain rule, the derivative of the inside part, uh, so if we take the derivative of x, we just get times 1, which we don't write. Uh, the derivative of 2 to the x, we've seen that one. That's just 2 to the x times the natural logarithm of 2. And then the derivative of sine x is just cosine x. And there's really not much to simplify here, so I would say, well, there's our derivative. So maybe let's do part b as well. So here we have h of x equals ln of x squared plus 3x plus 4. Well, if we take the derivative, we get 1 over the stuff, so x squared plus 3x plus 4. And then we'll do the chain rule. So when we take the derivative of the inside part, the derivative of x squared will get 2x. The derivative of positive 3x will just give us positive 3. And then the derivative of our constant, positive 4, is just 0. And if we want to, um, and as often the case, we'll just stick the kind of the part that we're multiplying by in the numerator. So 2x plus 3 on top over x squared plus 3x plus 4. And again, that's our derivative. So nothing too bad, just uh, some new formulas to remember. Uh, product rule, quotient rule, chain rule, those things all still apply. Um, again, just now you have sort of new derivative formulas to use.